uh, going to talk a little bit about music licensing. Not that I really know much, but uh, uh, I've been involved in in some of these things. You know, with the uh, uh, like you play a nightclub and um, the background music uh, that they play. Um, they're limited in what uh, they can play legally. Um, and I don't know exactly how it works, but uh, at Sambuca where I play, uh, they uh, can play a certain group of songs that I guess they've paid for, and they're they're not able to play certain kinds of songs because the sound men have uh, uh, iPods, and there's not too much supervision or um, people watching over them. I know frequently a lot of songs get played uh, that, that they're probably not legally uh, uh, allowed to play at Sambuca and many other, probably every other club in, in the country. But um, um, and then if you make a CD and you have several, a cover or several covers, you have to pay um, the Harry Fox agency a fee for that based on the number of covers kind of there's a formula times how many CDs you're producing you have to pay for the number of CDs you produce not the ones you sell but the produce so um, uh, on my own CD one time um, I, uh, with Stratus it's called um, Live at the Ale House uh, I had written all the songs except uh, one a song called um, um, uh, Wabash by John Schofield and um, anyway I, uh, a friend of mine uh, named Tim Solick actually got me John Schofield's home phone number which I think is in upstate New York or somewhere so I called and his wife, see his wife Susan is his manager and she answered the phone and I could hear little kids. I guess they have a, you know, had a growing family at the time. It's probably been 15 years ago. But uh, I explained to her that I wanted to uh, put John's song on the, the record. And I guess for some reason it wasn't covered by Harry Fox Agency or something. And um, she uh, listened and uh, she seemed kind of busy, but she listened and said that John was on tour at the moment with. Um, uh, Eddie Harris in Europe and he'd be back in a, I don't know a week or two and she'd ask him about if he'd give me permission and you know how much it would you know cost me and everything well um, a couple of weeks went by a couple of months went by I decided to um, just put out the CD I mean we we're gonna sell maybe maybe a thousand uh, CDs over the course of maybe you know five years it's not like we're not going to be on billboard charts so I went and put out the CD and guess what I never went to the, the, the penitentiary I never got a letter I never nothing you know I mean we're just not generating any money so it's, it's no big deal um, I guess that's that's my uh, story I'm sticking to it